Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third, coming to you from the back deck of the Safe Charter 5. We're a serious bunch here at Safe Fishing Charters, and one thing that we've noticed over the course of the years is that there are three basic moves that customers should, should know when they're going. <laughs> Hi everybody, Captain Bill Safe the Third. You know we're a serious bunch here at the Safe Fishing Charter Group, and one thing that we've noticed when we've been fishing over the years on Lake Ontario is that there are three basic moves that customers make <laughs> whether, Hi, whether yeah, they're safe the third on the back deck of the safe charter number five you know we're a serious bunch here at safe fishing charters and we've noticed over the years that there are three basic moves that customers make and perform when they're going for a rod that has a fish on it on the back deck of one of our boats so we'd like to highlight and illustrate those for you so that you can put them into your repertoire and make them part of your fishing package. This is extremely important. So here to help me is my good buddy, Jason Julian, Captain Jason Julian. How you doing everybody? Thanks, I'm glad you're here to, to help me demonstrate these, Jay. Get this technical segment out of the way here. Very, very, very important. This is gonna go a long way towards helping people hook up fish on a more regular basis. Uh, the first <clears throat> move that we would like to demonstrate is the move that we call hot coals. Customers should be paying attention to the back of the boat, should know what rod the fish is on when the captain hollers fish on, but inevitably they don't. So they do a sneak move as they head for the back deck looking for that rod. This is called the hot coals. Here's Jay showing you how to do it. Fish on! Nice move, Captain. Nice move. Perfectly, perfect. That, that's performed perfectly well. Okay, now the second move, and this one's a critical one, this happens all the time. The customer's at the back deck, they're unaware, and when the captain hollers at about 140 decibels, fish on, it startles them and scares them, and it leads to what we refer to as the icy sidewalk move. So, Jay's at the back deck, he's just minding his own business, He's waiting for a fish to strike and fish on! Got him! Nice, perfectly executed, Jay, perfectly. That's the icy sidewalk. The third move that we think is critical here in the Safe Charter fleet is what we refer to as the spastic orangutan. Now, generally, the customer is standing right next to the rod that goes off so that when the skipper hollers fish on, they inevitably look for every other rod in the boat except the one that the fish is actually attached to. So, Jay's going to demonstrate now what it looks like when you put the spastic orangutan move on the rod. Ready, Jay? You betcha. Fish on! Got it. <laughs> nice, 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 nice job, Jay. <laughs> so there you have it. It's critical to know these moves, practice them, spend time home, you know, Spend a little quality time with the wife, that's always good. Have her sit on the couch, holler fish on. You practice the icy sidewalk, the hot coals, and the spastic orangutan so that the next time you head onto the high seas of Lake Ontario, you'll be more prepared to take care of action at the back of whatever fishing vessel you're on. I'm Captain Bill Safe III, that's your Safe Charter Tip of the Week.